watch this video. I'm sorry it's been a little bit of a while, but welcome to your 2018 year ahead forecast and overview astrologically and general guidance. I really felt this strong need to reconnect with you because it's been such an intense year and I just wanted to get, you know, just, just get a feeling of what sort of year you've had this year. So write me a comment underneath the, the video and just connect, just reconnect, let me know you're out there, say hi, um, let me know how the video resonates for you. I appreciate and love all of those communications with you. And, um, and also, let's look ahead to 2018, which is gonna be another powerful year. I feel very, very strongly um, guided to say that this, all these shifts and changes that are happening, as we know, are pulling us onto the right path, they're pulling us into our power, they're taking us out of situations or ways of seeing things that are disempowering, they are moving us into a very, very strong position where we can begin to share our light, express our truth and be divine channels. And if that doesn't resonate for you and you've just come for a regular reading, then, you know, just bear in mind that everyone is experiencing a shift at their own level of understanding. And for you, it might be that you, you've changed at home or you've changed your, changed your job or you've, relationships around you are changing, family circumstances are changing, things are just suddenly up in the air and transforming in a dramatic way. And, um, and you're wondering why, why things are changing. And maybe you've come here because you're looking for answers. Maybe things just seem very smooth for you, but you're finding that people around you are having awakenings or their lives are changing or things are, uh, seem quite dramatic. Anyway, this video is for anyone who has come looking for guidance for the year ahead in the context of all of these shifts and changes that are happening to all of us. So I hope you enjoy the readings. I've been asked to focus on three main areas by my guides when it comes to the astrology. The place that Saturn is leaving um, in the chart, the place that Saturn is moving into, and where Jupiter supports, uh, you know, the, the place of good fortune, so where Jupiter is going to be. So in some area for all of us there will have been a maturing, there will have been a growing up, and that will have prepared the way for us to move into a, a deeper understanding of the next phase of our lives. And that's what we're just about to move into now. And we want to also look at where we are going to be most fortunate in taking that learning on board and really flourishing and blossoming and growing our lives in 2018. So those are the three aspects we're going to be looking at, um, the three movements, the three elements that we're going to be looking at. And then I'm going to pull some cards, some of my favourite decks I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using my insight as well. And um, I also want to let you know my year ahead readings are available on my website. I'll leave a link under the channel. I might be doing some exciting and interesting things on Facebook. Facebook Live as well soon, <laughs> long promised, and I'll leave a link under the video as well. And that's it. I would encourage you to check your ascendant as well because I'm going to be looking at things very much on a house by house basis. So it's going to be very important for you to be working from you know your ascendant as well as from your sun sign. So I think that's everything. Have a fantastic year. And if you're watching this before the year is over, I hope you're having a great Christmas or whatever you celebrate at this time of year. I hope you're having a great one of those. Have a fantastic holiday season and have a nice break, hopefully. And yeah, wishing you all the very best for the coming year ahead. Come back to this video and watch it as often as you like. And um, yeah, as I say, keep the uh, dialogue going. Let's comment, you know, share. Um, ideas and, and um, feelings about the times that we're going through and how we're shifting and how we're changing and evolving and what you actually currently believe about where we're moving to. Do you still believe that um, peace is possible? Do you still believe in utopia? Do you still believe that your life is moving in a positive direction? And is there anything that I can help you with? Okay, so yeah, that's quite a lot for now. Enjoy, take care, peace and I'll speak to some of you soon. Bye. Hello lovely Libra and welcome to your 2018 year ahead reading. And 
I just want to say I hope you've had a good 2017. I know it's been a bit of a roller coaster ride for lots of us, but it's about to get a lot clearer. Things are about to get a lot clearer and there is going to be big improvement in 2018 across the board. So hang in there. Um, well, don't hang, but you know, stick with it. It's going to be okay. It's going to be fine. And so I want to look at where you've been maturing over the last few years or so with Saturn in your sign. So you've had Saturn in your third house. So you've had your, you've had to really learn about what you think and how you communicate. These have been your areas where you've been really tested. What do I think? How do I communicate what I think? And how am I being understood? How am I being misunderstood? How can I really clear that up? So you may have had things like, you know, this can be a time when you get trolled or <laughs> stuff like that because you're just not expressing yourself properly. And so it's been a testing time. It's been a weird time, I feel, for you with, you know, people misunderstanding uh, what you mean and um, just not feeling that you can just come out and, and let the words flow at the way that you might like to all the time. Um, for some of you, it will have been a very powerful time for writing, for example, even channeling, because you might have found that when you're communicate, trying to communicate with people, it's been challenging and you've had to learn how to go inside and get yourself really, really calm and sort of allow the inspiration to come through you, the words to come through you. And so that could have led to you writing things down much more, journaling much more, um, you know, looking at how you teach, whether whether you'd be good at teaching, all of those areas, and putting your communication into more of a structure. So with, with Saturn's all about structure, so you might have thought, oh, this isn't any good, I'm going to just write it all down. <laughs> so you might find that you've written some very long letters you might never have sent. So... It's been a testing time for you in that respect, but now that you've done all of that learning, you could be coming to a place where you have a better understanding about your home, your personal, um, emotional feelings and how to take care of them. This is the phase that you're going to be moving into with Saturn in your fourth house. You're going to be learning lessons about home, about what it takes for you to feel good, to feel at home with yourself, to feel good at home in a physical home and to just generally feel that you've, you're at peace with who you are, that you've let go of the ghosts of the past, that you can just come into harmony and balance with just being okay with being your own being and you know with all of the sensitivity that that can involve it's going to be a time of um, maybe having your buttons pressed sometimes but you will emerge from it as an amazing amazingly self-aware person who's ready for really incredible creative ventures and excitement after that so let's have a quick look and see what the cards say so oh no let's talk about jupiter briefly so jupiter's coming out of your first house going into your second which is great so you might have seen your life expand a great deal over the past year in in every respect or you might have simply seen your conception your perception of yourself expand your ideas about who you are could have expanded and grown exponentially you might see yourself as a completely different person now to the person that you saw yourself as at the beginning of 2017 you might think wow what was i thinking believing that that was who i was this is who i am and you might have had a complete transformation a complete 360 in terms of how you see yourself how you want to present yourself in the world who you want to be you know what is your your definition of selfhood in this lifetime. So it's not always that your life expands and you become extremely lucky and everything changes. That that can happen too. But more often than not, you simply transform on every level with Jupiter in your first house. So you've had you've just come through that and it's moving into your second house. And it's going to be a question of if I'm that rather than this, what therefore do I deserve now? So you're going to be looking at your value. You're going to be looking at 
what it is that you really feel you want to receive back in return for what you do. And you might find that that's actually more than you thought. You might have been happy with just enough, just enough, just enough. Now that you realise how amazing you are, you might be thinking, actually, I want a lot more than just enough now because I've got a lot that I want to do. I've got a lot that I want to do that's going to benefit a lot of people and I want to be able to take care of myself and I want to be able to take care of a lot of people and a lot of things and I want my life to go up a level. So upgrade is going to be what it's all about but in order to have that upgrade you will have to deal with your emotional foundations and let go of anything in the past that tells you that you're not deserving so it's going to be a big 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 year for you Libra I've just been through this one <laughs> it's going to be really really interesting it's going to be amazing the next few years what you learn about yourself with Saturn in your fourth house and over the next year or so it's going to be amazing what you learn about your value and what you deserve and how to treat yourself okay so let's look at I'm being told color cards for you as well so I'm going to start with looking at what are we doing past present and future past present and future okay and then we're going to do the beginning middle and end of the year with the angel cards the archangel oracle cards from Doreen Virtue so uh, beginning middle and end of 2018 what's in the beginning middle and end of 2018 for Libra to be aware of oh that little one wanted to come out and we're stopping there okay good let's just see what that one is passion look at that okay trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career so for some Librans, it will be love, life and career, and for some, it will simply be that you've discovered who you are. You've discovered who you are throughout the last year, and you are feeling quite passionate about your uh, new vision. It might not be a completely new purpose, it might just have been a recalibration of your current purpose, but you are feeling passionate about it and excited about what's coming in the year ahead. Now the past you're looking back over, rejuvenate your body, you've had to spend some time, a lot of Librans have had to spend some time looking after their bodies, um, I'm looking at this and it looks very sort of, the gem, the facets, I'm being drawn to the facets here, the gem like quality here, so for some of you, you will have been receiving a huge upgrade, a huge kind of, uh, to your structure, changing, changing on a cellular level, changing into your crystalline um, being and having an awareness of this. For some it will simply be that you've been drinking more water, juicing more, um, just taking care of yourself, your vitamins, your, your routines, really looking after yourself and that has been important in the past year. You're learning also how to attract abundance. You're learning how to attract what you need to feel good about life, to feel good about yourself. And that's been, I'm hearing, hard won. A lesson that's been hard won, but it's really good, really good at the moment. And it's not just material abundance, it's abundance in all areas. It's having people around you that you love and that give back to you rather than people who drain and deplete you. It's giving yourself you know, nice evenings out, time out to relax and do things that you love doing. It's taking time to just sit and read a book. It's eating food that feels really good. It's loving yourself. It's taking time to meditate and do your spiritual practices. It's being able to spend really great time with friends and family and out in the world, just feeling good and feeling abundant and feeling that everything that you've been asking for is is there somewhere in your life feeling that you have access to the life of your choosing i think that's kind of what abundance is some sometimes okay so and the future connect to mind to body mind and soul so this body issues coming up quite a lot for librans as having been important over the last year or so and and continuing to be significant so make sure that you connect everything with your body, that you ask your body for signals about what to do next, about where to go next, about what you're really feeling, and that you really take care of your body. Okay, so the first part of the year. It's a moon cycle, so there's going to be some sensitivity around, but there's also going to be a connection with 
the moon and the, the months as they go by, using your energy to manifest and capitalise on the phases of the moon. But not just that, I'm not taking this card just literally because I'm also seeing that there's a lot of light in this card and that the, the moon, you know, is often representative of our emotions, our emotional sensitivity, our ability to connect with others, to connect with other dimensions even. And so the first part of the month, uh, of the year, you might be feeling a little bit sensitive still, but it's going to be very, uh, it's going to be a very positive sensitivity because it will guide you. It will guide you onto your future path even more strongly because you'll be noticing things around you much more. You'll be noticing the things that people say and do and what they mean and you'll be noticing opportunities that spring up and noticing how you feel which ones make you feel good which ones make you feel not so good and you'll know how to act so you'll be very much in touch with your intuition and the moon is very often a card that's about our feminine nature feminine intuition but whether you're male or female you'll be very much in touch with that kind of energy at the beginning of the year in the middle of the year You'll be absolutely certain about what you're doing, about what you need to do, about changes that you need to make with regard to where you want to live, who you want to be with, um, what work you want to do and how you're going to make it happen and who's going to help you to make it happen. And mostly for you, Libra, um, and for most of us at the moment, it is about self-reliance. It's about how we are going to make it happen. But it could be that if you're considering working with other people, you're going to get real clarity about a yes or no, uh, you know, as to whether that's right. Because it's always nice to come together, especially when you want to create change on the planet. Um, community becomes very important. So, okay, and then moving towards the end of the year, all is well. The sense that I get with this, Libra, is that things are just on course now for you, and that what, all that needs to happen is more energy needs to be put into things. You don't need to be told which direction to go in, or how to redirect or change things. In the main, you've kind of got all the right ideas around you, all the right impulses and intuition around you. You know what you're passionate about. You know what you want to do going forward. And this is just reassurance that you're doing great. Your intuition is spot on. You know what to do. You know what direction to move in. And you just need to trust it and to put the energy behind it. I'm going to pick a card from the tarot as well. Okay, let's see. What does Libra need to know? Trapped in fear. Right, okay. So for you, the only thing that can stop you now is fear. The only thing that can stop you. If you feel bound in any way, if you feel trapped or restricted, if you feel that you just can't get out and do things the way that you want to, or there's anything holding you back, you're going to need to use this sensitivity to go inside and come up with innovative solutions. I wonder what's at the top there. Developmental clarity. Yeah, you're going to have to go inside, pull away a little bit from the crowd and meditate on it and ask for guidance on it. Ask for guidance, ask for ways of dealing with things differently and you will find a way through. There's always a way through. One more card. Rest and rejuvenate. Perfect. Okay, so... Don't keep pushing ahead, especially at the beginning of the year where it's time to tune into your sensitivity. Go inside and make a plan that's based on that intuition. Go inside and meditate on what's the best way to navigate my way through 2018. Don't, you know, no one else can give you this. No one else can tell you. But it's up to you to come up with some ideas that will, in principle, get you through the knotty bits and help you to get over the fear. You know, molly coddle yourself if you have to. Tell yourself, well, I'm going to force myself to do this, <laughs> but I'm going to give myself this reward when I do. I'm going to give myself this reward at the end of it because it's a little bit uncomfortable to push myself, but I can do it. And when I do it, I'm going to let myself have this little treat. And that could be the way to do it. But rest, rejuvenate, meditate at the beginning of the year and give yourself time to receive all of the answers and the wisdom and the guidance that's waiting to come through. Libra, have a fantastic 2018. And I'm doing my personal year ahead readings now. There's a link below the video. I'll give you a reading that is just for you and just based on 
your energy, your direction ahead and what your guides and my guides say about the best way for you to navigate your way through 2018. Just you. Okay, so let me know if you're interested in that and if not, take care, have a great year and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.